if you're someone who is active on internet, spend good time on social media platforms, then by now you would have known that something unusual is happening all over the internet. Let's check this out. This painting from people was sold for $69.3 million. And the best part is it's just a digital painting, not even a physical one. And this was sold for somewhere around $70 million. Is it not crazy? And trust me, this is just not only one example. Look at these dudes. And these digital arts are from crypto banks. I get it. The one on the left is super cool. He has a nice hat, smoking a cigar, and wearing some dashing goggles. But $7.5 million for this? Absolute nuts. Just look at the right one. He's not even looking cool. Seems like an alien suffering from COVID. And this digital art was sold for $11.75 million. It is crazy. Craziness all over the places. If you're still not considering this serious, then look at this. This beautiful yacht was sold for $6.5 million. And here we have a catch. It is not a physical yacht. You cannot just jump on it, travel the whole world. It's just a digital yacht only available in the metaverse games. <laughs> I hope you understand the gravity of the situation now. If you really want to understand what exactly is going on, you need to understand this three-letter word, NFT, non-fungible token. Let's decipher the meaning of this word. Non means no or not. Fungible means replaceable or exchangeable. Let's take a simple example here. A simple $1 coin is fungible. How? You have $1 coin and I have $1 coin. You take mine, I take yours and nothing will change because the value will remain the same as $1. So $1 is a fungible entity as they are interchangeable, right? Same way, Bitcoins are also fungible. You can exchange your Bitcoin with anybody and nothing will change. On the other hand, non-fungible items are unique you cannot just exchange or interchange them. For example, you have 100 square meter plot and I have 100 square meter plot. We cannot just exchange them because the value of the land plot depends on the location as well as on various other factors. They are unique in themselves. Location change, the value will also change. Though the area is same, still value is different. Another example. The first Mona Lisa painting cannot be exchanged with the exact copy. Though all these paintings look same, but still these cannot be exchanged with the painting by Leonardo da Vinci. These two artworks cannot be exchanged. Now let's come to the third letter, that is a token. I'm going to take a very simple example first. When you buy a new vehicle, you get a registry certificate, which represents that you are the owner of this vehicle and this data is stored safely with the government. Same way, token is also a certificate. However, it has two differences. The first one is, it is a digital certificate representing the ownership of a good or service. Second, it is stored on the blockchain and that makes it temper free. So what are NFTs? NFTs are non-exchangeable digital certificate of ownership. Now, how NFTs are helpful. Currently, NFTs are mainly used to sell digital art. Tracking the ownership of the digital item is tricky because anybody can copy them and distribute them over the internet. So it is tough to find out which copy is the original one and who is the real owner of it. In such cases, NFTs are a great solution. The digital art can be attached to a unique number stored on the blockchain. The token can be sold to pass on ownership of the digital collectible. And the province can be assured. But just because NFTs are used in the digital world doesn't mean that they can only be used for the digital assets. NFTs can be used to represent ownership of the physical items including real estate, concert tickets, or anything that is unique and needs proof of ownership. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, please subscribe my channel.